In lesson 2 of grade 12 Euclidean geometry, we're going to have a look at the converse proportionality theorem. This theorem states that if a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, that line is parallel to the third side of the triangle. Once again, we can identify an if and a then part in this theorem. If we draw line PQ in such a way that it divides the side on the left, APPB, into the same ratio as the side on the right, AQQC, then we can accept that that line PQ is parallel to the third side of this triangle, which is side BC. This theorem is the converse of the proportionality theorem because the if and the then part simply swapped around. The reason for this theorem, the line divides two sides of a triangle in the same proportion. Let's see how we can use this theorem. Example 1. In the sketch, AB is 9 meters, BC 6 meters, and AD is equal to 3 over 5 of AE. But the lengths of AB and BC are both already indicated on the picture, but that last bit of information is not on the picture yet. So if we focus on that first, we will realize that normally the ratio is in a fraction form, but now AE is on the right. So I'm going to divide by AE on the left and then I have a fraction on the left and then a fraction on the right which gives me a ratio. So I'm going to add on the picture that ADAE is in the ratio 3 to 5 and to remind myself that it's not actual values I'm going to add X's. We are asked to prove that GD is parallel to FE. And this new theorem says that if we know that the two sides of that triangle are in the same proportion, we can say that that line will be parallel to the third side. So we need to get proportions for side AE and side AF and show that they are the same. We have a whole lot of options for these proportions, but because on the right we already have the proportion of AD and AE, on the left I'm going to try and find the proportion for AG and AF and see whether that is the same. To find the proportion for AG and AF I'm going to work in triangle ACF because there I already have a line parallel to one of the sides of the triangle. If I now however compare AG AF to something in this orange triangle, I'm going to have to work with AB and AC, so I need to know that AC is 15 meters. So I'm going to start off in this orange triangle, so I'm going to say I'm in triangle ACF, and in this triangle I know that BG is parallel to CF, because if I know that, I can say that AG over AF, the one that we want to calculate, will be the same as AB over AC, and that is 9 over 15. My reason for this, line parallel to one side of the triangle. This proportion can also be simplified to 3 over 5. But now we already know that AD over AE is also 3 over 5 because that was given to us. And that means we can say that AG over AF is the same as AD over AE. They are both 3 over 5. And because they are the same, we can make the conclusion that GD will be parallel to FE, and my reason for this, line divides two sides of the triangle in proportion. Example 2. In the sketch alongside, PS is parallel to BR, and SQ is parallel to RC. We have to prove that PQ 
is parallel to BC. Now to prove this, we are actually working in triangle ABC, and in this triangle, we need to prove that APPB is in the same ratio as AQQC. To be able to prove this, we are going to work with the left-hand side and the right-hand side on their own. So I'm going to start off with the left-hand side, and that means I will work in triangle ABR. And in this triangle ABR, we already know that PS is parallel to BR, and therefore we can say that AP over PB will be in the same ratio as AS and SR, and my reason for this, line parallel to one side of the triangle. So now I have information about the left-hand side of what I need to prove, and now to work on the right-hand side, I'm going to work in triangle ARC. So in triangle ARC, we already know that SQ is parallel to RC, and therefore we can say that AS over SR is in the same ratio as AQ over QC, and once again my reason line parallel to one side of the triangle. If we now go and compare these two proportions, we will see that AS over SR is in both of them, and we can then put all of it together to say that AP over PB is the same as AS over SR from my first proportion, but in my second proportion, AS over SR is the same as AQ over QC. And that means that AP over PB will also be the same as AQ over QC. And because we know that these two proportions are now the same, we can say that line PQ that connects them will be parallel to BC, the third side of the triangle. My reason for this, line divides two sides of the triangle in the same proportion.